Okay. Now, while I have the dot cam going here, let's continue with the conversation that we started the other day, and I want to give you a little bit more about this. It's the idea of the chromatic number of a graph. Do you remember the definition that we wrote in class last time? If I give you a graph, the chromatic number is the fewest number of colors that I can use to assign colors to the vertices in such a way that adjacent vertices never get the same color. All right, look at this graph and tell me what its chromatic number is. So, uh, I, 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 somebody says it's four? Uh, what's the film uh, where the guy is, a, a, it's, a, it's a war movie, and, and the guy blows his cover? Uh, he's, he's, yes, I shouldn't say that, I can't say the word. I'm on tape, but in, in that particular movie, the guy is in a uh, European bar and he, he wants to signal to three and he, and he goes like this and he's supposed to go like that. And uh, that blows his cover. So uh, the chromatic number here is, is three. Okay, now uh, why is it at least three? Why is it at least three? Give me a quick explanation for it has an odd cycle in it. You see the this cycle right here? This cycle has size seven. And any time there is an odd cycle, the chromatic number is at least three because you can't color around it A, B, A, B, A, B, or one, two, one, two. You, you get a conflict. So the chromatic number is at least three. Let's show that it is three just by producing a coloring. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, two, three, two. Uh, one, three, for example. Oh, there are many, many colorings. But that witness is one. Here's a yes, no question. I give you a graph and I ask you, is the chromatic number less than or equal to two? Yes or no? I give you a graph and I ask you this question, less equal to three. Are these problems in the class in P? Let me ask you again. Are these two problems in the class in P? If you say yes, can you provide a certificate whose correctness can be checked by the impartial referee in polynomial time? Yes. How would you do it? For example, for the first one, I would say, here's the vertex set. 
color this set of vertices with color one and color this set of vertices with color two. I would give each vertex a color, either a one or a two. And the referee could quickly check that there are no edges between any two vertices colored one, and there are no edges between any two vertices colored two. So the correctness of my certificate could be quickly checked. Same thing for the second question. I say color these vertices one, color these vertices two, color these vertices three, and the referee quickly checks, yes, that works. The referee doesn't care about <laughs> pairs of vertices where one has color two and the other one has color three. They can be adjacent or not. It doesn't matter. What matters only is that there are no edges between vertices with the same color. These two problems are both in NP. The first one is in P. The first one is in P. And you win a million bucks if you can tell me whether or not the second one is. See how they look, they look the same. How hard can this be? But I'm going to explain to you why the first one's in P. All you need to do is to answer the second one. Yeah, that's not so bad. <laughs>